Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel Technology No Limits. Recently Russia has launched its strategic bomber, the Tu-160. And most surprisingly Russia has also upgraded its newest hypersonic ballistic missile. The supersonic Blackjack wouldn't be the first Russian aircraft to be armed with the Kinzhal, an air-launched version of the ground-based, nuclear-capable Iskander ballistic missile. Here's what you need to remember. Arming the Tu-160 with Kinzhals is interesting on several levels. First, the bomber is already armed with subsonic K-55 cruise missiles with about a 1,600-mile range and the newer Tu-102, which has an estimated range of more than 3,000 miles. Russia's Tu-160 strategic bombers may be armed with hypersonic ballistic missiles. The Russian military is studying whether to arm the Tu-160 with the K-47M2 Kinzhal, a nuclear-capable missile with an estimated range of 1,200 miles and a speed of up to Mach 10. If true, it would vastly extend the target reach. The Blackjack has a range of around 8,000 or 9,000 miles, though on one occasion it flew for 11,000 miles and stayed aloft for 23 hours. Arning the Tu-160 with Kinzels is interesting on several levels. First, the bomber is already armed with subsonic K-55 cruise missiles with about a 1,600-mile range and the new Rk-102, which has an estimated range of more than 3,000 miles. A long-range bomber that can potentially carry either slow but long-range cruise missiles or shorter-range but extremely fast ballistic missiles will complicate Western missile defenses that must prepare to stop multiple threats. In addition, arming the Tu-160 with hypersonic missiles offers another reason for Russia's military to continue operating an aircraft with a checkered history. The Tu-160 was a late Cold War design, the Soviet Union's answer to America's B-1 Lancer supersonic strategic bomber. Russia announced plans to restart Tu-160 production, even as Moscow unveiled a host of new strategic weapons such as nuclear-powered cruise missiles. Adding hypersonic missiles to the Black Jack's arsenal may give a boost to the bomber's future prospects. Russia has indicated that it intends to restart production of the massive supersonic bomber at the Kazan Aircraft Production Association in 2023. Russia intends to produce more than 50 new Tu-160s, which would be built concurrently as the new Russian PAKDA stealth bomber is being designed. According to the plans, serial production of the aircraft to 160 new version is to be implemented starting from 2023. Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borisov told reporters during a visit to the Kuznetsov factory. Thanks for watching. See you the next videos.